going on guys it's Natalie coming at you live and I'm currently I'm driving so that's why I'm not looking at the camera but I just want to say on this episode I didn't really feel my best you know I feel I've, I've been under the weather but um, this episode just contains of me how I go through pick through what I want to buy what do I want to resell and then you know cleaning up the items taking pictures of them that's what this um, video consists of so if you're interested in my whole little process stay tuned and uh, stay flippy so I think I decided what I want to do with these dressers is I'm, I took out the hardware and I'm putting wood glue filling all the holes and all the areas that is gouges and give this the best of chance to life again Wow, I didn't even notice that. What the heck? How am I gonna fix that? Well, I got all the nasty stuff up, at least off the top. But guess what I still have to do? Still got all the drawers. And in here, there's even more. All right, we're about to go get a club chair. It's dirty. I asked the lady, thinks the stains will come up. She said yes. Ready, baby? Look at you. <laughs> she want to be in the video, huh? Oh, you. <clears throat> All right, we got it. My baby wants it, my baby got it. Careful with this wall here. Yep, okay. doesn't like the washing machine completely ripped here you can see so let me get you guys up to speed I sent out a bunch of messages for different items and we're gonna go grab them we're gonna stock up on inventory and let's see how much we spend and what good finds we find one chair that is like an hour away I'm super stoked about it it's $65 for two but we're gonna go grab them and see how much money we can get for them. Yeah, flipping yeah. that. All right, so update. We didn't end up buying that green couch. It had some wear and tear that we were not that aware of. She didn't take pictures. So once we got there, she didn't want to budge with the, with I don't blame her. We settled on $50 and that's what it was. So we ended up not getting it, um, but we got this chair here. Where is it? Right there. And we got it for 10 bucks. We got two more chairs in the back. They're the white ones back there. They're, they're swivel chairs. They look a little cheap. They don't look, they look like they were worth like 200, 300 bucks at one point. So they're not the best, best quality, but we got them for $25. And Nathaniel, do we get a stamp of approval on that flip? Uh, we got a snap of approval. So far, we're at 35 bucks, and then we're gonna go to about an hour drive away, and we're gonna go pick up some more chairs that are worth money. I mean, what do you think? How much do you think we would sell those ones for? We're getting it for 65. Um, I know you could sell those for at least $300. Yeah, I agree, yep. So we're gonna make this trip, and then I'll catch up with you guys next time. $30 for gas. What do you think? I think it's a flip. I need to pee. It's the next day and we got the chairs here. We drove an hour out and spent a total of like two hours just to get these chairs 
for $65. Let's see if it pays off. I'm hoping it did because I sold another pair of club chairs for $250. So I got really excited when I seen these for pretty cheap. So anyway, what we're going to do is that we're going to stage this. I need to clean the carpet. Um, I need a vacuum really quick. I'm going to stage this. I'm going to go get the other chairs staged. That. It's going to be Dave staging and posting. So I'm actually an acrylic artist. I have a YouTube channel all about my art. But I'm just color matching this with acrylic paint. I put it on there and then I just wipe it off. So I'm kind of just staining it in a sense. to the road but I want to talk to you guys and get you guys up to speed okay so it's back there you see that um, I was on Facebook marketplace okay let me tell you how I was, I was just chilling it's Sunday and then I go on Facebook marketplace they recommended something in my area and it was posted six minutes ago it was a, a patio set it was four chairs and then the table was um, it had a barbecue set on it like a barbecue um, what is that a fire pit sorry I'm a little excited about this right now uh, I kind of hesitated I was like should I do it you know it's like should I pull the trigger you know um, cuz I already bought a lot of stuff but I was like you know what I'm gonna do it <clears throat> I messaged him and I said I will buy this I want to buy this I, that's what I said and I was like would you take 40 and he's like well someone offered me 50 already for it and I said okay I'll pay the full 50 and I can come pick it up right now and then um, he didn't message me back for like a good five I don't know maybe five minutes or so and then he messaged me back I thought in my head I was like you know someone already probably outbidded me um, you know that's what it was my thoughts I was like someone probably already outbidded me no no big deal whatever now I know what to like you know that things go by like that you know in the matter of he told me when I got there he said in a matter of I think 15 minutes he got 15 messages so that's a lot he said when can you come get it and I said I can come get it right now and then he said he said okay I'll accept your offer of $60 and I said yes I got there I knew I was probably gonna have to take two trips but three trips was not in my to-do list today but I uh, guess I'm doing this and um, it's probably gonna take a whole total of like maybe an hour and a half he lives about 12 minutes away so if you do the math of everything you know um, 
unloading it, loading it, unloading it, unloading it. It's probably gonna be an hour and a half. So anyway, um, it's cool, no big deal. This is gonna be a big sell, or we might keep it. So, I don't know. I, if Nathaniel sees it and he likes it, we might just keep it. It's a really, really, really nice set. I'm gonna show you guys. Um, the, it looked way better in person than in the pictures, and he even cleaned it. I bought a lot of stuff from people, and they don't even bother cleaning it. They don't even bother just going in with water and soap and a rag. And it's really disgusting almost, but, <clears throat> you know, Honestly, this guy was super cool and uh, he even cleaned it for me. So and God bless his little heart and uh, Let's finish and doing all these other trips and I'll see you when I get back. All right the sky and that's where I find my and yum. Hill. Second trip here we go One more trip, but I want to show you guys something. Look, I'm gonna look that brand up later. Okay, we just pulled up me and my baby dog. Um, so the whole thing, I messaged this person at 1:53, and now it is 3:31. So just over an hour and a half, like I predicted in the beginning. But wow, what a trip! That was just a lucky find. I mean, what? It is what it is, you know, you see something at six minutes and you have to jump on it. And uh, we might keep these for ourselves. We got the table back here. It fit perfectly, this Forerunner. Everything that we try to fit in here, some way uh, it just ends up fitting and we make a way. So, no excuses. It did take way longer than it had to be. You know, if I had a trailer or a, a truck, I could have done that run in one time, but it is what it is. I'm working with what I got. You, you gotta put money in the gas tank, and um, it was probably like $20 worth of gas. But all said and done, I'm gonna go look up how much those seats are worth, and uh, I'll let you guys know. So I did some digging for like two minutes. And I just looked at the brand name, but I saw I found a similar set. It's not the exact set. I've been looking for like two minutes, but it's like a thousand dollars for this set. Wow. So that is it for this YouTube video, guys. Sorry it wasn't, you know, we're not making a bunch of money or profit coming about out of our ears. But it is what it is. We're putting in the work for what we gotta what is coming ahead. And yeah, we're just preparing and, and uh, positioning ourselves. That's the word I'm looking for. So if you guys like that type of video, go ahead and like and subscribe. And, you know, encourage me because I'm new to this uh, flipping life. <laughs> so um, I'll see you guys in the next one. And hopefully we'll be making a bunch of sales. Also, my mom told me to, the one that told me to start the channel in the beginning. Um, she told me to make some tutorials of how I... You know, if I'm redoing a furniture piece and I'm repainting it and all that stuff, she said I should do tutorials. So let me know if you guys are interested in that. And with that being said, stay flippy.